Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Madison and welcome to Classroom Setup Day 3. Alright, as you guys last saw, if you watched my classroom setup day two if not I will have that linked right here for you guys um but my mom and my dad came in and Kyle and helped me knock out a bunch of stuff so now it's just me <laughs> Kyle's at work my mom and dad went back to St. Louis and this is pretty much my last like full day of classroom setup I'll probably have some time in between meetings this week to knock some more stuff out but I'm really hoping to get a lot done today it's 11 o'clock and so I have the entire day I didn't plan anything else just because I really want to be in my classroom all day today to get a lot done um, but as you guys saw in my last vlog we did get a lot done bulletin board wise and we rearranged my room and so today um, I don't know I still have a list of things that I need to do obviously it's not completely finished but I feel like we got a lot of like the big things done um, I really want to go through my library books which I feel like will be like the most like tedious process um, but yeah so I'm going to take you guys with me and show you everything that we got done yesterday and then yeah this will just be a pretty long classroom setup video I expect because I have a lot to do um, but if you're not subscribed definitely hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future content because it is coming up on our first week of school and I will be vlogging all the first week of school and pretty much the entire year <laughs> so you don't want to miss it hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed and let's go ahead and head to school all right guys i am in my classroom so i'm going to go ahead and kind of like pan around and show you what all we got done yesterday okay starting at the front door i'm keeping my same door decor as last year um we'll see if that rug stays there a lot of people have been tripping over it i ended up moving this over here honestly because i didn't have anywhere else to put it but it ends up like fitting perfectly which is really satisfying so we'll see if i keep that there it has all of our like um indoor recess toys this um i'm still trying to decide what to put on this bulletin board you guys i cannot decide i got all of our um cubbies filled just kind of pan around for you guys to see we like moved all the tables and chairs just so we could like get a vision so one of the main differences than last year is one I got a new rug which I am obsessed with it is this really cute kind of like neutral rug with pops of colors I just thought it was like perfect for a classroom but I moved the rug instead of being like in center in front of the smart board I moved it down a little bit so we can have like our morning meeting here in the morning and I also moved our information center over to this corner this used to be a word wall so this way we can have like our calendar time in the morning and do go over like days of the week and all that because I didn't do that last year and I really want to this year this is still our objectives board I just changed the border got rid of the burlap I was not a fan but kept the same lettering. I get questions all the time about um, my headers, but I actually make these myself. So if you uh, want any of these, they're all in my TPT. A lot of the decor you see in my room, like all that is in my TPT, which is always linked down below. So I thought this was kind of a cute setup. We'll see if it stays. I put my rocking chair there. I moved this little table that was out in the hallway by my front door right here with a little lamp. I'm going to fill this with our like seasonal books so like for next week it'll be all like first week of school type books. Another big difference is this is no longer my classroom library. Um, I kind of just wanted to uh, make this my own spot because I realized last year I didn't really have like a designated teacher spot because if you guys have been watching me you know this is like the only desk they provide that one behind the whiteboard. Um, it's really small and so I kept all my stuff over there but it was really cluttered and my kids were always getting into my stuff so this is going to be like my area um, as well as like a small group table obviously but um, like my tin drawer cart is where I keep all of my like lesson plans so I can easily just turn around and grab anything I need. I have my little mini fridge, um, my um, this thing, <laughs> everyone always asks me about it. This is something that the school actually just gave us. It's just like a bunch of like drawers, which is really nice to store stuff in. My file cabinet. This is where I keep student data. 
my new desk from FlexiSpot, which I'll talk about today. These will obviously not be there. This is all small group stuff that I need to put in that cart and my small group cart. So this is just like everything that I need. I can just easily like turn around and grab whatever I need and like no students will be allowed beyond the stable so they can't get into my toolbox, which they were constantly getting into last year or mess with anything back here. So that's kind of what it's looking like. We'll see if it ends up staying that way. Then panning over to this side of the room, last year this was our um, information center and our work wall, like look at our work, but I'm changing that around. This year it's going to be for anchor charts, so this will be like our ELA wall, this will be our math wall, um, and then I kind of made this a cute little, I guess you can call it like a library area, It'll just be like a reading area. Um, I found this bench, <laughs> actually it was like next to a dumpster, it was like a dark brown color and I just took it and Kyle and I painted it white and I just think it's so cute. These pillows actually aren't staying, um, I've had them forever, I just kind of wanted to like see what they would look like on there. Um, they're cute but they just obviously like don't go so I have recently bought new pillows that I'm going to be bringing in tomorrow to put there and then I just moved my bookshelves there which obviously will hold books. Um, this might get pushed like underneath the bench. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it just like in the middle or should I like slide it underneath? And then I'm still trying to figure out guys because I have a lot of this stuff and an extra bookshelf. But I don't know if it just looks like out of place being here just like randomly on the wall. I could always put something above it. I don't know. I kind of like last night I ended up just leaving because I was just like tired and I couldn't decide what all I wanted to do. And I was like, okay, I just need to like sleep on it and come back. Um, I obviously need to reprint a few letters <laughs> for my alphabet, um, because yeah, those all fell down last year. But yeah, this is pretty much what it's looking like. But I still feel like I have a ton of work to do. Oh my gosh, you guys, I need to tell you. Do you remember the contact paper that would not come off this cabinet? Well, handy dandy dad comes in and he has this little razor. I guess I'll talk to you right here. My dad comes in yesterday and he has this razor with him and his little toolbox just starts going at it, comes off so easily. I was like, you're kidding me. I have been working so hard on that. My kids tried, the custodians tried, teachers have tried to get it off. Nobody could get it off, but apparently all we needed was just like one of those like scraping razors. So yeah, shout out to dad <laughs> for getting that off. You're the best. Um, if you guys watch my videos from last school year, you know that was really scary for me because I could not get that contact paper off for the life of me and I was afraid I was going to get like fined for it. Um, but yeah, problem solved. So I have a bunch of stuff I need to go through. I have a cute little welcome sign I need to hang on my door. Someone sent me for my Amazon wish list, which was so nice. All my like meet the teacher stuff is like piled right there. So I need to go through that eventually. I need to find a place for this easel. No idea where that's gonna go. And yeah, let's just get to work. finished my cute little information center so every morning we can go over the calendar which this is from the target dollar spot i'm obsessed with it it's the cutest thing ever we're gonna go over the weather the days of the week 
and these are our class jobs which I still need to add a few more I didn't love the ones that it came with so I'm just going to add a few more and then I just added this little basket with the weather and hands that I can like change in and out I bought this cute today is sign from the dollar spot with the day month year season and stuff but I guess I forgot to buy the cards that it came with so I decided to just use the ones that I already had which I think are really cute anyway Okay guys, I have been working my butt off for the past like two hours. I haven't been vlogging a ton just because I've been running around the room. I did not know how much stuff I had to get done today. It's a little overwhelming just like looking around and seeing all the stuff that I still have left to do. I still need to go through all of my books so I think I'm gonna knock that out now just because that's like one of the biggest tasks that I have left to do so one, I want to go through them and see if there's any books that I can get rid of because honestly there are a lot of books that my kids didn't even read last year and just some that are in like really bad shape so either I'll get rid of them or donate them. Um, and then I want to look through my chapter books and either donate or just store most of them because second grade there will be a few kids that can read chapter books but not many so I felt like all my chapter books were taking up a lot of room but never even really got touched so that's what I'm going to do right now and then I'm also going to um, go through and find any like first week books or first day of school books and put them in my more like themed bookshelf area so yeah got a lot of books to go through so let's do it <laughs> really hungry I might have to order food but I've gotten a lot done today I'm really proud of myself because you know those moments where you're just like so overwhelmed you're like I think I'll just call it a day like I can't do this anymore I had one of those moments when I was like looking around my classroom and I was like there's just too much there's too much to do I need help and I just felt really overwhelmed but I feel a lot better now um and now I'm just kind of doing finishing touches type things. Um, I'll show you guys around in a minute. I'm just so tired. I needed to like sit down and breathe. Um, I'm just like one of those type of people. Whenever I start something, 
I just like keep going until I finish. Um, like even if this didn't have to be done this week, I would still be here all day until it's finished. So I think my only problem now is just, I have things that I don't know where to put them, like that whiteboard. And I'm actually, <laughs> I'm getting rid of a lot because I just realized I have too much stuff. I am the type of person, like if it's, if there's too much clutter, it just drives me crazy. I think I get that from my mom. <laughs> and so I would rather just get rid of it. And so I actually just got rid of like three boxes of books because I filled all of my bookshelves like to the brim and I still had books left. And I'm like, you know what? I just don't need any of these. Like I really don't. And my kids, you know, they are going to be perfectly happy with the books that I do have. So I decided I'm just gonna donate them. So I let Kathy and one of the other fourth grade teachers and one of my team teachers come by and just take the rest of the boxes. Um, so I feel so much better just like getting rid of it. It makes my mind just like so much more clear. Um, so yeah, right now I'm sitting down, you can't see it, but I have a bunch of stuff on my desk, my kidney table back here that I wanna go through. I sent a bunch of stuff to the print shop. So I have some stuff that I need to laminate and hang and then I want to go through a lot of my meet the teacher stuff um, although I'll have time this week to plan more for meet the teacher so I'm not going to like get on myself about doing all of that today but I do just like want to go through some of my stuff but right now I'm gonna take a snack break I'm just gonna chill <laughs> I have been laminating and cutting things for about an hour now so I have my ELA bulletin board with a little thing I'm gonna put on there my math bulletin board with a little thing I'm gonna put on there some stuff for meet the teacher night I'm gonna put those in the out um, outside hallway bulletin board this is some um, first week of school stuff I just organized my birthday bulletin board I'm gonna try to put on that skinny one by the front door and then something I printed out to put on the wall. You can see I have been cutting for a really long time. So I'm gonna set all this up now. love how these bulletin boards turned out like I said I made this my ELA bulletin board and this my math one I just went on TPT and searched like ELA bulletin boards and I saw this and I thought it was so cute just like a giant pencil with the writing process on it and it can even be used um, by like kids if we are doing anything with writing I can always get some clips with their names on it and kind of like clip at what part of the writing process the kids are on so I love that it can be interactive as well and of course 
Um, this is just there to show like there will be an anchor chart there. Um, I really want to start doing my anchor charts with my kiddos um, so that they're not just like posters. I want them to be more interactive and I think that'll just help them like learn the material a lot better. So basically whatever topic we're learning at the time, we'll make an anchor chart together as a class and then I will put it up on the board for them to reference. And same goes for math. Um, this was another um, a poster that I found on TPT. Let me see. I think it says, yeah. Oh, this is from Miss Jacobs Little Learners. I love it so much. We learn a lot about place value in second grade, so I thought that was perfect to have up on our math bulletin board. And I might even add some other like math posters on here and writing posters, but for now, those are the two that I really liked. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys I did end up putting up this because I just felt like with this like section over here It needed something on the wall. It was so blank. So I got this adorable um, little tapestry last year and I just love it so much and So I just hung that alongside. This is where our headphones go. So I hung that as well I'm not sure if this is exactly how it's gonna stay. I did end up moving the rug back and I like it a lot more Like I said, I'm bringing in some pillows tomorrow for that kind of what it's looking like just don't mind all the trash and stuff I did end up hanging our affirmation station mirror so I put just a few affirmations on it last year I had like the entire <laughs> frame covered and a lot of them would pop off really easily so I decided to just put a few on there and I like it way better plus it's easier to open and close I also ended up hanging these back these were actually I think they were on this cabinet last year um, these are just our class callbacks and then I just put our finger signs. I still don't know what I'm going to do with this whole section. Um, I think I might still just keep this in Miss Campbell board and just put a bunch of pictures of me on there. Um, I was thinking about even making this like the safe seat in my classroom um, and that way if kids ever need a break they can come sit in the comfy chair and just kind of like rest their head. I don't know. That might change. Who knows. Um, I still have this bench here. I put my little lights around. For now, I'm keeping this here. I'm definitely going to find somewhere to put it, but I don't know where right now. Um, I put our voice level lights, or sorry, signs up on the board, and I was going to do the whole light thing again this year, but it just turned out to be such a hassle last year with like the batteries dying, and the lights were so heavy, it was hard to keep them even on the board, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use these little pointers that I got from the Target Dollar Spot, and it's easy. I can just ask a kid, like, can you go move the pointer to the one, or whatever. So, I like that better for this year, <laughs> a lot easier. And then, as you guys saw, I also put up our little time stamps around the clock because we learned a lot of time in second grade, and I really regretted not having this on the clock last year when they were learning, so I think this will help them a lot. I put our class schedule on the board, our team points, and yeah, you guys have already seen this over here, our information center. I put the objectives. I am missing a little star. I need to print one out, but... I filled this with all of our like first week of school themed books, our little first day jitters books. I love how this corner turned out. Getting so many compliments on this rug. I'm obsessed with it. Cleaned up a little bit over here as well. I put a few little decor pieces up. I have our sanitation station, our lost and found. I put these signs back up. That's where they were last year. I just think they're cute there. This is my Cricut. I need to find somewhere to put it. It's just so dang big. Um, this is my vowel wall. I'm going to have a little sound wall up on those cabinets eventually once I get to it. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the birthday bulletin board now.
it is so freaking cute i have no idea who i got this from but i got it off tpt it was like a boho birthday set and yeah i love it so much so cute Right. this was another TPT find I honestly don't even know how I stumbled upon this I think when I was looking at all the posters this came up but I love this so much it just says respect and after each word you can see it just has like reach out and help others everyone takes turns while talking and so I'm gonna have respect be like our word classroom word this year so I really loved the colors. I loved how each one of the letters had a meaning. So I'm gonna have that be our classroom word this year and we're always gonna come back to it. So I might be like, oh, don't forget our E in respect. Everyone takes turns while talking or something like that. So I just love it. I think that's so cute and it fits perfectly on the wall right there. Okay guys, I am officially done for the day. I'm so excited to go home. It's going on 5.45 and I literally got here at like 11 something. So I've been here for like six hours, um, but I got a ton done, almost everything I feel like, just little things here and there I'm going to do throughout the week. Um, tomorrow is our first official day back, kids won't be here but teachers will be in the building and we have PD and meetings all week. Tomorrow I think we have a meeting from like 8am to 3pm so I'll be here all day but I'll be stuck in a meeting so won't be able to be in my classroom much. Um, and then throughout the week, I will be in and out of meetings as well. So I think I will film this week, just kind of like a first teacher week of school type thing, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. And I can kind of take you through the first week of school, um, or the first week that teachers are back, um, because most schools do that. Usually teachers have to come back the week before students get here, just for meetings and all that stuff. So I think I will vlog like a little week in my life this week, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. It'll probably be up very shortly after you guys are watching this one, since this is classroom setup day three. Um, but yeah, I'll give you a quick little scan of the room and then I'm heading out. Okay, first I wanna show you what I added to my door on the outside. Well, first I added these greeting signs on the walls and then I also added this cute welcome sign and my little bitmoji on my window. Then when you walk in my room, you can see this is the birthday bulletin board I did that you guys just saw. And coming this way, I'm selling both of these things right now, so those will be out of here soon. I added these little supply bags to each one of my students' cubbies, and I will fill them with supplies, but that'll be a next weekend thing. This is all stuff that I'm giving to Kathy, so she said she'll come pick that up from here tomorrow. Then coming around here, I have my back wall, kind of like my little new library section with all my book bins cute little bench i'm bringing some pillows tomorrow i'm still trying to decide if i like that poster let me know what you guys think or if i should put something else on that wall i'm obsessed with how these back bulletin boards turned out i think they are just so cute i love them so much coming around here this is my little teacher corner and so this will be, of course, where I host small groups, like I'll be calling kids back, but I love that it gives me like a clear view of the entire room. Um, shout out to Bailey Stokes. <laughs> she had this really cute pink like chair cover and I immediately bought it when I saw hers. I think it's so cute and it matches the little pink rug underneath. I have my small group cart, which you saw me put together today as well. Then I put um, a little bit of decor up on this back wall. This is a lifesaver, you guys. This is one of those um, Glade air fresheners and it like spritzes every 45 minutes. It smells so good. I have this cute little sign. I put some stuff of mine back here since this is like my new little area. And all of this is for Meet the Teacher Night. <laughs> so I will be vlogging Meet the Teacher so and I'll be able to explain all of this right now which I know you guys will have a lot of questions. Um, so don't worry, I will explain what all this is, come meet the teacher. Then I just put this cute little fake plant right here. I stocked my little 
turntable supply caddy. Just have full of Sharpies, highlighters and markers, pens, Expo markers, and flare pens. Extra Expo and extra Sharpies. Scissors. I made this last year. It's just like my little mailbox. Right now I just have my Erin Codron planner in it right now, but I like to keep just like papers people give me in there. Again, this is all Meet the Teacher night stuff, so this will not be staying on here. I just had it set out so I know exactly what I'm going to grab for that day. I put this cute little lamp over here with my stapler and tape. A little bit more decor over here in the corner. I ended up hanging up these posters over here. Just my little safety posters. Originally, if you remember, I had them up here, but the kids couldn't really see them because they were up too high, so I thought that was like a perfect wall for them. Then, all the fun teacher stuff, just keeping all this back here. I know it's not pretty, but it's all very useful. I can't wait to keep my lunch and snacks in the fridge. It'll be so easy just to like turn around and grab my lesson plans out of there. I have my filing cabinet and my little milk crate for files. Coming over here pretty much looks the same. I'm keeping this <laughs> close by me to this year because it was just a disaster last year. So um, no one except the teacher is allowed to use the electric pencil sharpener. I'm making that a rule. And then I'm going to have these stocked um, every single morning with sharp pencils. And um, the kids can put the non-sharp ones in there throughout the day. I'm hoping that will make the whole pencil sharpening problem a lot better. Coming over here, obviously, my Cricut will not be there. I'm just going to um, play with that a little bit this week. Showed you all of this. I love this corner. It's one of my favorite corners. I added these little cushions. Originally, I had three, but I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to put a cushion on this chair just to make it comfy, <laughs> so I took one. Sorry, kids. Um, but I still have two more, and basically the kids can just grab them and sit on them whenever we have independent reading. All of that. My whiteboard. This is all my stuff I'm taking. I think this is probably how our tables will be spread out. But yeah, that's a little overview of the room. I love it. It feels so much like brighter in this room and just more open and I don't know. I just love it so much more. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'm about to head out and go home. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you don't miss my future videos that I will be filming this week, next week, and there on. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video as well. Leave a comment down below if you made it this far in the video telling me your favorite part of my classroom. And yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.